More than one million species are threatened with extinction, but hope isn't lost for nature. There are still many conservation success stories to be celebrated. Over the last century, passionate and committed organizations and communities have pulled many animals and plants back from the brink. And now, these species are thriving. Today, we'll talk about the top 10 endangered species saved from extinction. Number 10, short-nosed sturgeon. The short-nosed sturgeon is a prehistoric fish that dates back to the time of the dinosaurs. Instead of scales, the bottom feeder has five rows of bony plates, called scutes, down its body. The fish appears to be wearing armor due to its murky brown and bluish-black coloring. Overfishing, habitat loss, and river damming nearly drove it to extinction. In 1967, the short-nosed sturgeon was designated as endangered. This, combined with captive breeding and study, resulted in the birth of a superior generation, allowing the species to flourish in 41 bays and rivers across North America. Number 9. Pygmy Rwandan Water Lily in Mosh Yuza, Rwanda, the world's tiniest water lily formerly thrived near a thermal hot spring. It grows unusually on the surface of damp mud, at an exact temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The plant is exposed to high levels of carbon dioxide and oxygen, both of which are necessary for it to thrive. Due to overexploitation of the hot spring that fed its environment, the water lily became extinct in the wild. Fortunately, two years before its demise, samples were gathered by a botanist and delivered to the Bonn Botanical Garden in Germany, and afterwards the Royal Botanical Gardens, too. It was successfully cultivated after many trials and errors. Number 8. Fisher's Estuarine Moth Fisher's Estuarine Moths are extremely rare, as they require a particular habitat. The hog's fennel moth is a medium-sized moth that only eats hog's fennel, a spiny wildflower that grows near the sea but cannot handle seawater. The moths lay their eggs on coarse grass, and the caterpillars hatch and travel to wildflowers to feed. The amount of hog's fennel in a given region is crucial. There won't be enough grass for the moths to lay eggs on if there's too much, and there won't be enough food if there's not enough. One plant can only feed one larva. Furthermore, for a hog's fennel to be large enough to fulfill a caterpillar's appetite, it must be in its third year of growth. The moths were endangered and only found in two places in England, North Essex and Kent. Number 7. Rodriguez Fruit Bat Rodriguez fruit bats resided on several Indian Ocean islands, but they are currently only found on Rodriguez. These gregarious species congregate in big numbers in deep forests, shielding them from the harsh weather that their island home frequently encounters. Bats dine on fruits and flowers, smashing the food on their mouth and spitting out the seeds, making them vital pollinators and seed dispersers. Many natural plants would be unable to reproduce without them, Deforestation has put the species' survival in jeopardy. Because the rainforest is fragmented, it is less shielded from tropical cyclones. This can result in a lack of food and roosting areas for bats, and they're being blown out to sea. Number 6. Island Night Lizard Only a few islands off the coast of Southern California are home to these medium-sized reptiles. Instead of laying eggs, they give birth to live offspring, which is unusual for lizards. Humans harmed the islands' habitat by introducing non-native species, such as goats and pigs. The lizards, which were listed on the endangered species list in 1977, were also eaten by feral cats and rodents. Invasive species have been eradicated, land has been refilled, and the public has been educated since then. The number of island night lizards has increased to approximately 31 million on three islands, resulting in their removal from the endangered species list. The lizard is presently classified at least concerned by the IUCN. Number 5. Blue Whale Blue whales are the world's largest creatures. These majestic monsters, measuring up to 33 meters in length and weighing up to 150 tons, were formerly common in practically all of the world's oceans. Blue whales were hunted to near extinction for their oil and fat, used to make margarine, soap, and light bulbs. Because it is robust, flexible, and lightweight, Baleen, the thick, coarse bristles on their lips used to gather food, was a lucrative byproduct. It was even employed in the production of corsets. When the whaling industry peaked in the early to mid-20th century, hundreds of thousands of blue whales were slain. The International Whaling Commission ultimately gave them legal protection in 1966. Their number has gradually rebounded since then. However, there are still much fewer blue whales in our ocean than there were previously. Number 4. Fen Orchid the fen orchid is one of Europe's most endangered wildflowers, with only a few locations in the UK. 
The fen orchid's petite, pale yellow blossoms can only be found in coastal sand dunes or open fenlands. The roots of fenland plants grow perched on moss clumps that form on peat or sedge tussocks. The plant develops on damp sand, left behind when the top dry layer is blown away by the wind in sand dunes. Fen orchids used to be found in eight sand dune systems along the South Wales coast, and numerous other locations in eastern England. But their populations have declined due to habitat degradation. In Wales and Norfolk, only a few hundred plants remain. Number 3. Sea Otter Sea otters are a keystone species. They serve a critical role in maintaining the ecological balance of coastal habitats in the northern and eastern North Pacific Oceans. Invertebrates such as clams and sea urchins, which would otherwise run rampant and eat entire kelp forests, are fed by these charming, hairy mammals. Kelp forests are vital for various reasons, including providing food and refuge for a variety of different marine species and birds, storing carbon dioxide and protecting coastal areas from storms. Sea otters don't have blubber to keep them warm. Instead, their fur is incredibly thick. The fur has a million hairs per square inch, which makes it the densest in the animal kingdom. Sea otters were heavily hunted in the 18th and 19th centuries due to their thick fur. Their numbers had plummeted to as little as 2,000 people. Number 2. Mollercon Midwife Toad Mollercon Midwife Toads are among the world's tiniest toads, having a unique technique of rearing their young. Females lay between 7 and 12 eggs in a row. Males wrap the egg string around their legs and, and carry it on their backs until the tiny tadpoles hatch. The solitary species have a hard time adapting to changes in their environment. They were once considered to be extinct, but in the 1970s, they were recovered in Mallorca. Toads had been reduced to small streams and limestone mountain summits due to the arrival of non-native animals, particularly the viperine snake. Land and water use changes to accommodate an increasing human population and rural tourism led to the population decline. Number 1. Peregrine Falcon Peregrine falcons are huge raptors with a reputation for speed. They dive bomb their victim at almost 320 kilometers per hour, making them the world's fastest mammal. These falcons can be found almost anywhere on the planet, including along the shore, desert, and mountain summits. Peregrine falcons, despite their flexibility, became an endangered species in the 1970s. Pesticides affected the diet of other birds and fish, particularly a synthetic pesticide known as DDT. Hunting, habitat degradation, egg harvesting, trading, and other human disturbances all had a role. After DDT was outlawed in the United States in 1972, the population began to grow. Captive breeding programs and large-scale protection of nesting areas were also essential in saving the species from extinction. These are some of the endangered species that are saved from extinction. We hope you learned something new today. Share your thoughts below. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.